Hey everyone, this is Aegis, and we have the games between uh, the University of Maryland, Baltimore County, UMBC versus UC Riverside, University of California, Riverside. And on this side, we have Stellums, the Teal Terran player, uh, playing for UC Riverside. And on the other side, we have uh, the Red Protoss player, Lunatone PKM, playing for UMBC. This is the first. Uh, game in a best of five between UMBC and UC Riverside in the Collegiate Star League. Uh, I believe this was week 16? Or no, that's too late. 12? Week 12? I want to say it's week 12, but I can't exactly remember. But this is a recast because uh, the recordings all failed during the Collegiate Master Star League, which we will be streaming sometime later this week once we figure out how the stream works on this computer but uh for now we'll be recording a couple of games from uh the collegiate star league and the Stellums here is um getting his barracks standard timing standard positioning nothing uh out in the middle of the field like here or anything uh lunatone also looking pretty standard himself getting a, a gateway on uh, 12 uh, gonna be able to get those warp gates a little bit earlier. Uh, we're having a little worker race here, and uh, they're gonna zap each other, and this SCV is gonna end up having to retreat. There we go. And the probe will be able to regenerate its energy. Uh, Lunatone getting his gas up, and his gateway is about to finish. His uh, uh, second pylon is coming up as well. Gonna put some guys in gas real soon. Yep, there you go. And uh, the worker race is still uh, going on. The probe getting microed out of there. Probe is going to begin the retreat. The first marine is also on the way as well as the orbital command. Not forgetting that is always a good thing. The cybernetics core is also on the way. Uh, the nexus is saving up a little bit of energy. Probably going to chrono boost out a stalker as well as the warp gate research. Uh, continue to build up that energy there. Uh help says lunatone i do not know what was going on that day uh, i remember seeing this actually but uh don't remember what that was about i don't think anyone actually figured out what that was about uh so we'll never know it's a com it's a mystery for all he ages to come <laughs> the first uh, the zealot is coming out so the zealot will be the first unit and not a stalker he'll be able to get a stalker shortly the first zealot will be uh, hanging out over here, I think. Yep. I'm uh, gonna do some checking, actually. Checking for any proxies. Uh, there is an SCV over here. Gonna be watching for the expansion timing on Lunatone. And we're gonna come look at what the Terran player is doing. And his uh, second barracks is finishing up. Marines up front. And the tech lab is researching the concussive shells. And uh, a Reaper is on the way as well. Gonna be able to scout out the entire base for Lunatone. Also, uh, that Zella, I think it just took out that uh, SCV. Yes, it did. The first Stalker is out, and a Chrono Boost going down on a uh, second Stalker. Looks like we're going to be seeing some aggression here. Um, not, not Chrono Boosting the Warp Gate, just Chrono Boosting a couple of units early. Going to try to do some damage. The Reaper is also uh, coming up, and Selims is grabbing his natural expansion. And while the Reaper is heading over there to check out the base, Stellums will be grabbing a reactor on this second barracks. That Reaper is going to come over here and you blast away one probe. Uh, Zealot moving over here as well, going to be able to back up. A Stalker coming up and trying to hunt for that Reaper, not quite catching it. Looks like a Marauder and a Marine being best buddies up here near the ramp. Uh, we got two more marines on the way. Getting supply blocked. Oh no. Uh, that marauder is going to do some damage to that stalker. But additional stalkers are going to reinforce here. Uh, that zealot getting caught in the back. Going to start doing some damage up here. Going to be able to take out uh, one of the marauders. And slice away a marine. Looks like uh, Lunatone is going to continue pressing in here. Uh, some SCVs getting pulled off the line. That uh, Zella is being used to try to kill that one marauder. The SCV is doing some great blocking action, and this uh, Stalker is going to kill off an SCV. That Marine is going to be forced to retreat a second Stalker moving up here, being very aggressive here for Lunatone while getting up his expansion nexus. That Reaper is still checking out the front. 
uh, not doing anything right now. I don't think Stellums has actually seen anything inside of his opponent's base recently. Yep, hasn't seen a thing. A probe moving out here is going to get its base blasted to pieces by that Reaper. And finally going to see some movement by that Reaper. And that Stalker is taking shots at it, but not quite able to take that out. Reaper is going to move back here and runs back into that Stalker. Gets taken out. Three Stalkers spawning over here. Uh, walking over here, actually. And a... A pylon is being placed placed down for proxy, and uh, this one marauder still here is still uh, barely alive. Selims is starting to get a little bit of saturation at his natural expansion while getting his third barracks up. Looks like Selims is going for that uh, mass barracks play, along with some ghost ghosts will be great for that EMP. Going to be able to make those stalkers extremely squishy with only 80 HP. Also going to be able to force sentries into uh, becoming useless. Uh, more probes coming out and the probe, tra probe transfer to the natural expansion for Lunatone. Just finishing that up. Uh, robotics facility is also on the way. Selims is getting his stim pack upgrade for his infantry. Always good. And a pylon warping in the back. A probe checking out the front. Going to be uh, forced to back out. That SCV. Oh, getting taken out. And uh, Force Seal taking out another Marauder. This pylon will allow uh, Zealots and Stalkers to be uh, warped in over here. Gonna be able to do some harassment and force the Terran army to just like walk back and forth between the front and the back. SCV's getting pulled off the line there, not too sure why. Uh, Lunatone war warping in additional sentries over here while he uh, continues to macro up. He's getting additional assimilators at his natural expansion and his robotics facility has just finished. Kodu boosting more probes out at the moment. And a zealot has been warped in over here. That zealot does have uh, has two kills. Uh, does get taken out. And a bust is happening at the front. Gonna be forced to back out of there uh, after losing a sentry. The marines are trying to reinforce over here that one uh, the ghost in the mix. Going to be able to use that EMP real soon. Uh, does look like it is available right now. And an EMP ooh, off on all of the sentries. But that ghost does get killed. His body splattered on the ground. And a force shield killing off a bunch of units out here. Does look like Lunatone in his, is in a great position. Yeah, he d is ahead in terms of resources lost. His expansion was not that far behind the Terran expansion. So Lunatone is looking quite a ways ahead right now. Uh, the units over here are running over here. Probably going to see if they can take out this pylon to prevent any more um, uh, Zalots from being warped in in the back. Uh, the Marauders taking shots against those Stalkers. A force field going down. Going to be able to hold uh, the units back over here. Uh, going to kill off a couple of free Marauders essentially. Losing a single pylon in exchange. Um, pretty good trade actually. This one Marauder has 1 HP, you can barely see his life bar. Uh, the other guy, 4 HP, is still alive. Another force field going down. Uh, gonna be able to prevent the Terran army from moving out. Additional ghosts are spawning, but they do not have that EMP. Immediately he has to research the uh, ghost energy upgrade, which uh, is coming on the way right now, a Mobius reactor. And Lunatone is getting the uh, extended thermal lance out for his Colossus. No, uh, one Colossus is uh, coming out right now. Does look like Selims is going to check out outside of the base with that one Marine. A force field going down. Going to be able to prevent him from moving out. Once again, additional chrono boost for the probes. And that first uh, Colossus is finishing up right now. The thermal lance is not being chrono boosted. Just additional chrono boosts on the probes, I believe. Yeah. Uh, and Lunatone is pulling his army back, is going to allow Stellums to move out of his base. A starport reacting to the possibility of Colossus. Um, perhaps going to get some Vikings, but uh, maybe some Medivacs to heal up those Marauders. We'll see what he decides to do real soon. A uh, factory is floating over here, not too sure what that is all about. Additional Marauders spawning, and it does look like Stellums is moving his army out, is going to be able to pick off this one pylon. Uh, two ghosts in the mix now, a bunch of marauders and some marines. Does look like Lunatone is going to engage over here. Uh, EMP going off on all of the sentries, but the four shields has already been laid. Going to be able to kill off a good portion of that army. One marine over here being quite brave, but uh, it's not going to cut it. Four stalkers warping in right now, and it does look like Lunatone is pressing in for the attack. Selims is not loaded into that bunker. He's got to get in that bunker. Yeah, there we go. 
additional uh, Marauders loading and they're gonna be uh, forcing Lunatone to back up once again and it does look like Vikings are gonna be finishing up right now uh, to deal with that Colossus. Colossus it does outrange that bunker but with the stim it can actually uh, take out that Colossus rather easily if it is not grouped up with the main army. It does look like Lunatone is taking the uh, center expansion. Um, people do sometimes complain that it is uh, about it not being a gold expansion but it's always great to expand while you attack additional pylons going down in the front to be able to reinforce that army very easily. Lunatone uh, doing very well in his macro. Another Colossus coming out right away to reinforce that army. It does look like he's double expanding. Look at that. Very aggressive play and then a uh, very economic follow through. Always great to see. And it does look like a factory is floating over here. Not going to be able to do much. Um, Selums is moving out once again. He's got his two medivacs and two vikings. Uh, not quite be able to deal with this colossus count because um, of his low viking count. But it does look like a, a Lunatone has a great spread. This uh, one area here is going to be a huge kill zone if Selums decides to move up there. Which he is doing right now. The vikings are moving forward. Gonna get zapped. Force fields going down once again. You're gonna trap a part of the army and uh, fry it away once again. A very good play by Lunatone. And he is gonna start moving down this ramp. Gonna start doing some zapping action. Uh, force fields going down. EMP also. No more force fields for the sentries. But does it matter? The Colossus are doing tons of damage. Roasting away a lot of that army. More Colossus reinforcing this mix. And the army is so strong here. This Colossus with 5 HP going to continue the, to push in. Does look like Lunatone is going to be able to move up there real soon. Uh, one Colossus falling down. But does it matter? He's going to lose his front bunker. Colossus running in. The Vikings landing. And um, completely useless there. The one Viking is trying to fly away. Going to take some shots off at that Colossus. <coughs> but will not be able to do anything. Stellums does call GG. And first game does go to UMBC against the UC Riverside. Uh, we'll be going right into game two.